And as for the holdup on the foreign minister nominee's confirmation, President Moon has made his stance loud and clear. He wants Parliament's approval by Saturday, hinting he may go ahead and appoint her anyway if lawmakers miss that deadline. Connie Kim reports. President Moon Jae-in again called on the opposition parties to approve Kang Kyung-hwa as the country's new foreign minister, giving the parliament until June 17th to issue a report on the nominee's confirmation hearing. It is standard procedure for lawmakers to publish a report following a confirmation hearing, but they missed a deadline for Kang's report on Wednesday. Given the circumstances, President Moon hinted he will push ahead with the appointment of the former UN diplomat if lawmakers fail to meet the second deadline as well. Speaking at his weekly meeting with top secretaries, the president highlighted the people's high support for Kang and reiterated her optimal qualifications to head the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. UN과 국제 사회에서 외교관으로서 능력을 인정받고 칭송받는 인물입니다. 국제 사회에서 인정받는데 한국에서 자격이 없다면 어떻게 납득할 수 있겠습니까? 반기문 전 UN 사무총장과 역대 외교부 장관들을 비롯한 많은 국내외 외교 전문가들이 그가 이 시기 대한민국의 외교부 장관으로 적임자라고 지지하고 있습니다. 국민들도 지지가 훨씬 높습니다. Opposition parties forming the majority in the National Assembly have strongly been against Kang's appointment, criticizing her lack of experience in bilateral diplomacy and accusing her of tax evasion and registration of a false residence address. The opposition has strongly stated that it'll not cooperate with the top office if the president appoints her unilaterally. The main opposition Liberty Korea Party has even threatened to boycott the ongoing parliamentary session. But with Moon's diplomacy about to be put to test, first at the Seoul-Washington summit this month and then at the G20 summit in Germany in July, Kang is most likely to be confirmed as a head of the foreign ministry no later than Sunday, whether the parliament meets a second deadline or not. Connie Kim, Arirang News.